Alright guys, so in the last video I went through and I showed you how to um, create the beginnings of a pickup. So you can drag your pickup into the level, set the um, static mesh for the pickup, but you cannot currently pick the pickup up, which pretty much defeats the purpose of a pickup. So in this video we're going to make a pickup and you're going to be amazed how easy this is to create a pickup. It really is quite easy. And I'm going to go through and also uh, make several different pickups. So um, one pickup might be a cone, one might be a sphere, one might be a cube. How do we make several different pickups that can be dragged and dropped into the level without making a bunch of different pickup classes because that would be unnecessary. So uh, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is open up our pickup class and um, I'm going to add a couple more things. Now, one thing I'm going to do is actually just drop the SM from the start of Pickup Mesh. I've decided to no longer put SM before stuff. Just because if you're going to stick to that naming convention, you have to do it for everything. And there are a lot, a lot of components where the prefixes would clash with each other, and it just gets kind of annoying. So, um, one thing I'm going to add to this Pickup is a root component. So this is invisible in the game, and it's merely there to kind of act as the root for everything else to be attached to. So we're going to say, um, scene component. Um, pick up root. And I'll also make this editable anywhere, although you don't really have to, I guess. And we'll go ahead and add one more, which is the pickup box. So the way that our pickup's going to work is when the player walks along, um, as soon as they enter an invisible box, which is around the pickup, the pickup will be picked up. So we need a box to represent that. So we're going to make another um, edit anywhere U property, and we're going to make this a U shape component. And we'll call this pickup um, pickup box because I've made it a U-shaped component. That pretty much means we can make this a box. We can make it a sphere. We can make it a bunch of different things. Uh, if I was to put U box, and in future we want to change it to a sphere, we can't do that. So may as well just make it the uh, shape component. And that's pretty much it. The last thing we're going to do is add a function that gets called when the player enters the box and we're going to call this on player enter pickup box now this takes a bunch of parameters and honestly I don't even know what some of them do to be fair but uh, let's type these all out this is going to be kind of annoying so the first one is a primitive component Um, the next one is an actor, other actor, and that is the actor that's walked into the box, aka us, but it could be anything. For example, if a player was to shoot a projectile into the box, uh, that might also count as the other actor. So you do need to type check uh, what's actually walking into the box, because uh, not just players can trigger the trigger box. Anything could potentially. Uh, we're going to add the other body index. And yes, all these parameters need to be added, which is kind of annoying, but just how it is. Uh, B from sweep. And then finally, uh, if hit result, sweep result. And if hit result is a structure which stores a bunch of information about um, how something hit each other. So I assume that's going to store something like the angle at which we walked into the box and stuff like that. But you guys don't really need to worry about that for now. Um, now we're going to right click under the squiggly green line and click on quick actions and create a definition. And now that that's done we can just click the X there. And we're pretty much all good to go. So. Uh, first thing I'm just going to get out of the way. When we walk into the box, I'm just going to destroy the uh, the pickup box. 
Now, uh, in a real game, obviously, you'd want to put some code there that adds it to the inventory or does something like that. But for our purposes in this tutorial, we're just going to destroy the pickup. So when the player walks into the pickup, it is destroyed. Pretty simple. Um, Alright, so let's uh, start by initializing this root component we made. And to initialize a component, you remember, we just use this thing here, create default sub object. So I'm going to say pickup root equals create default sub object u root component. Oh, whoops, u scene component. My bad. And then in the text here, we're going to put uh, pickup root. Easy. And finally, uh, I'm going to set the root component variable equal to pickup root. Because that is our root component. After I create the pickup mesh, you remember we did that in the first tutorial, um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, attach it to the component. So pickup mesh, attach to component. This is also new. Previously, you would use attach to. And we're going to pass in pickup root. So we're saying attach the uh, static mesh to the root. And then um, we need to pass in some transform rules. So if attachment transform rules, we're going to snap to target not including scale. The reason we are not including scale is because that means that um, if the root was small for some reason, the pickup would also be small. We don't want to mess with the scale, so we're not including the scale. Right, the last part, and probably the longest part, this is about five lines of code. Good God, guys, five lines of code. Um, is making the uh, the pickup box do what we want it to do. So, first thing we need to do, as usual, is create default sub object, of course. And we're going to pass in ubox component. And pass in um, text. And put in there pickup box. Then we're going to set the scale of the box. So pickup box, set world scale 3D. And we need to put a vector in there. So I'm going to construct a new vector using the if vector constructor. And I'm just going to put in one by one by one. But since I've made pickup box edit anywhere, we can change the scale inside the editor if we want to do that. The next thing is to say that I want uh, pickup uh, overlap events to be turned on. So we're going to say generate overlap events equals true and then we're going to link a um, on component begin overlap so we're going to click add dynamic which isn't in the IntelliSense but just type that in we then need to pass this and we need to pass the function that we want to call so um, pick up uh, what's it called what did I call my function again guys on player enter pickup box there we go Last thing to do is attach it to the pickup mesh. If we wanted to, we could also just attach it to the root. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to do that. So, pickup box, uh, attach to component, pickup root, if attachment transform rules, snap to target, not including scale. And there we go. That's it. So that's all you need to make a pickup happen. We've just written all the code. Not really that hard at all. So uh, if I go ahead and compile, we're now ready, ladies and gentlemen. And there we go. So compile complete. Let's drag a pickup in now. And you can see it already has a nice little box there. So let's set the mesh by clicking on it and going and uh, assigning mesh. I'm going to make this one a bush, because why not? Let's be able to pick up a bush for some reason. 
I'll make it nice and small so it looks like a plant or something. And there we go. So now let's try to pick this bush up off the ground. There you go. Congratulations, our first pickup. So I'm going to drag this on a little bit longer. For anyone that's interested, um, you might be thinking, well, that's pretty inconvenient. Uh, if I'm making a game, I want a bunch of different pickups. So we're not just going to be making a game with bush pickups. Uh, you know, we might want a bow that you can pick up. We might want a, um, a gun, a health pack. There might be a bunch of different stuff that um, we should be able to pick up. So how do we make a bunch of stuff that can be picked up? Well, the answer is blueprints, and in Unity, I believe they're called prefabs, but it's kind of the way of combining, you know what, I'll just show you guys. So I've made a little folder here, it's empty, and it's called pickups. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our C++ classes, right-click on pickup, and go create blueprint class based on pickup. I'm going to put it into the pickups folder. I'm going to call it pickup underscore cone create. I'll make another one. Pick up underscore sphere. And we'll just leave it there for now. I'll just make those two. You get the idea at this point, I guess. And why did that uh, put it in the wrong folder? Okay. So, click on save all. And let's make these um, these pickups do something. So I'll open up Pickup Cone and I'll click on Open Full Blueprint Editor. I'll go into the viewport here and we'll click on the mesh. Under Static Mesh, we'll select the mesh. So since this is the cone, we're going to select cone. Uh, I might want to make this a bit smaller, so I'll transform it. Let's just put it on the ground for starters. Um, and we'll just make that a bit smaller. There we go. We'll go ahead and click Compile, click Save, and we've just made a cone. So the whole idea with making these is that we can now drag a bunch of cones into the level. And I can run around and actually just pick these up. So that's kind of handy. It's nice to be able to do that. And we can do the same for the sphere if I open up the sphere. We can set, if we go to the full blueprint editor, viewport, set the mesh to a sphere. Um, make that a bit smaller, of course. Put it inside the cube. Uh, if we wanted to, we could also just make the cube bigger if we wanted to have a big sphere or whatever. Uh, and we can compile this, save that, and now put it in the level. And there you go. So there's now a bunch of spheres as well that we can now potentially spawn in and pick up. Um, and I believe you can do this as well. So let's just make it twice as big. And that works too. So there you guys go. We've just made some pickups. Pretty basic stuff. Um, these pickups don't get added to an inventory or anything like that. They just get picked up and that's it. They are destroyed upon getting picked up, but hopefully you now actually get sort of the basics of um, of that sort of thing. It's a it's a nice little example uh, pickups, but that's pretty much it, I guess, with the pickup side. So I will see you guys in the next video.